Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today we're going to mess with some Varroa mite control on our bees, and uh, basically we're just going to dust it with sugar. So to get started, uh, I've got a screen bottom board, so I've got the uh, the screen bottom, and then this is the little coroplast sheet that goes in there um, when I don't want to have the bottom open. And all I did is I just put on the glove and got some Crisco and rubbed it down with um, with shortening. You could use vegetable oil if you want, but I'd just use shortening. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to, there's some tracks in there that that sits in, so we slide that in. And then I've got a flour sifter with powdered sugar, and the great thing about this is, is it's organic, so there's no chemicals, and everybody should have powdered sugar, and if you don't, if you've got regular sugar, you can put it in a blender and make powdered sugar. So what we're going to do is we're going to break this down and powder the bottom box, put the next box on, and then the top box. We're going to do this for all of them. Let's smoke them a little bit. Okay. And what this does is it coats the bees with the sugar and so it stimulates their grooming and it coats the bottom of the mite's feet so he doesn't get or so they don't get good purchase and then what happens is when the bees groom themselves they knock the bites down and then the mites get stuck. The mites get stuck to that um, oil and grease on the um, bottom board. I can come back next week and look and see how many dead mites are on that board. If there's a whole lot of mites, then I know I should redo it again, like every 10 days or so. Yeah, they're a little agitated today. Let me also put in some high beetle stuff. And that is all there is to it. Now I'm just going to do my other two hives that way. Um, and. Uh, until next time, you can always catch online at www.tngun.com. Thanks. I've got a plan fits my point of view. I'm getting.